Welcome to section 4.2.1. I hope we make it through this, but if we don't, um, you'll get some of it. The big idea here, how do I organize data to make it easier to find probabilities? We switched today to probabilities. We went back. And so the big idea in this unit is ways to organize our data to make sure that we're getting the combinations. Now, the first thing they did is they gave us this rat and they told us a story about it and they asked us if he was learning something. His name was Romeo and it said that uh, basically that when he went in this maze a hundred times or this this route the cheese was hidden in A and 66 out of a hundred and so his owner Ryan thinks that he's getting smarter. Okay, um, If you read it out of the book this is problem 48 and so we just wanted you to think for a moment about whether or not he is really getting smarter. So, I want you to think about that. Look at this and go ahead and pause this for a moment while you think about if you why you think he is or is not really getting smarter because his friend doesn't thinks it maybe isn't true. So go ahead and pause. Okay, in class, a lot of you came up with this particular notion. Since there were three things going to B and three things going to A, we had two big, two big groups. One group said, hey, about 50% of the time he's going to go here because he's got three entrances. About 50% of the time he's going to go here. 66 this is more than 50, so he's getting smarter. Another group said, well, 66 really isn't that big of a difference, and it could just be basically chance that he's getting to the cheese that's sealed in a, in a box in there. We're going to revisit this problem later in a different unit, so we're not going to talk too much about it now, but those do make some sense at this point. Okay, the next question, we were given this playlist, and we're going to use it several times. And so this is problem number 49. Renee's MP3 player can be programmed to randomly play songs from her playlist without repeating a single song. Currently, Renee's MP3 player has five songs loaded on it, which are listed at the right. As she walks to class, she can only listen to one. So here's some of the questions. Okay, first, we have five songs. And so we know in our probability, basically a little bit of a review for you, that these are going to be out of five. So let's see. First question, what, what is the probability that her MP3 player will pick a country song? Well, let's see how many country songs we have. One, two. So we have two. So that would be two out of five would be country songs. What is the probability that Renee will listen to a song with Mama in the title? Let's see. One, two, three out of five. What is the probability that she listens to a duet with Hank Tumbleweed? Well, let's see. There's one Hank. So it would be one out of five. What is the probability that she listens to a song that is not R&B? So let's count the ones that aren't R&B. One, two, three, four. So four out of five. They asked us next to put um, all the combinations if she can play the song twice. Now combination, they tell us that the order of the songs is not important. And what that really means to us at this point is this. A, B will be considered the same as B, A. They're not different ones. If I said, how many different orders can you play it in? Well, that would matter, but here it doesn't. So we won't put both of those. This is, uh, I'll go ahead and have you pause and think about that. Now, I'm going to go ahead and show you what most of you did when you did in class. You started with A and you linked it with B. You linked A with C, A with D, and A with E. Okay, then you came over here and said, I'm ready to start the next one. Well, I already have A with B, or B with A, so the first one I'm going to have is going to be B with C, and then B with D, then B with E. Okay, and I'm ready to do my C's. I already have A with C and B with C, so I'm going to do C with D, C with E. And then I'll do one more. Um, 
this pattern continues and then the last one I'm going to have is D with E. So I have 10 possibilities and this is what I wanted you to kind of see. And so we could use this once again to find some of our probabilities. We're not going to do that but uh, we're, we're just going to show that this was a good way to organize it and helped us keep track of all the ones that uh, we can do. Okay, the next set of problems, we're going to come back to that in a minute, but the next set asked me to look at Renee, uh, this girl named Renee, on the bus. And so she could take three buses, and on each bus she picks one of three activities. I'm sorry, four buses. She picks to read, to write, or to listen. Before we did the tree diagram, we just listed them. So we might say something like this. On bus 41, she can read. On bus 41, she can write. On bus 41, she can listen. On bus um, 28, she can read, write, or listen. We could do that for all of them. There was bus um, 55 and bus 81. And so, read, write, listen, read, write, listen. And so I see that I have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12 possibilities. Now, the tree diagram helps us organize it in another way. It kind of helps us keep track. Um, we've got 41, 28, 55, 81. And then, each of these is going to have a read, write, and listen, read, write, listen, really should have put it on the line, read, write, listen. So now we can, since they're all equally possible at this point, we can come in and we can see how many we have. We have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, and we could answer some questions like, for example, what's the chances of Renee taking an odd bus? Okay, well let's see, there's one, two odd buses, so that would be these three and those three. So she would have six out of 12. Or, um, let's see if that's right. It actually would be an odd numbered bus. Let me check it one more time. What was this? This was 81, I'm sorry, 81. One, two, three. So that's three out of four on that. Okay, now of time. Got to go on. Okay. Then we looked at another problem here. Back to um, the songs. And this time for the evening, Renee has programmed her MP3 player to play all five songs in a random order. What is the probability of the first song that the first song is country. So we need to kind of put um, some order to this. And so, let's see, for the evening. Okay, she could have any of the five songs, A, B, C, D, or E. A, B, C, D, or E. And let's see, which ones are country, the first one being country would be A and B. And so that would be 2 out of 5. Now, because each one of these has a possibility of 1 fifth. 1 out of 5, 1 out of 5. I'm just going to put their probabilities here. If the first song is a country song, does that affect the... Uh, probability of the second song is a country song. Well, if it's playing five songs and it can only play them once, well, that would mean that if it's played a country song once, that the next one would have to be one of four options. It would have to be B, C, D, or E. And so now it has a one-fourth possibility. And so that would affect what uh, the chances of getting a second country song because it would be one out of four. Now, 
that's going to be all we're going to be able to cover and we wish you luck.